So, poison isn't something new in Destiny 2, but with time, different subclasses, mods, weapons, even exotics come out that make us consider spicing up our existing builds. Today we'll be picking some of the best parts of the good poison builds we've used in the past to make one of the most efficient ad clear builds in the game right now. Every build you've ever used in Destiny falls under one of these five categories. Spam ability, gun ability, clear ability, damage ability, or survivability. I know these terms are new to you guys and some of you are like, huh? But I'm going to explain what each one means real quick. Spam ability just means how much you can spam your abilities like grenades, melees, and even class abilities. If you can use them instantly or at least very quickly, that falls under that category. Gun abilities for a build that's highly dependent on you shooting your gun. Case in point, the build we're going to be using today. Clear abilities for builds that can clear out a bunch of enemies really quickly. Damage abilities just builds that do a lot of DPS in boss fights. And lastly, we've got survivability. This is for builds that can heal you or make you tanky or do both. Interestingly, this build we have today falls into all these categories and does them really well. So that's why I feel this is one of the most efficient builds in the game right now. Let's start off with the basic components of any poison build the exotic armor. Usually we only have one option, the necrotic grip, but we now have the solipsism exotic class item that has the necrotic perk on that exotic as well. So the first thing is to decide which of these two options we're actually going to use because this build is going to be on prismatic. Both exotics allow us to spread poison on melee hits, and the poison spreads when you defeat a poison target. In addition to this, necrotic grips increases your poison damage by about 20%. While with Solipsism, you get to choose the other exotic perk that's going to be on the exotic class item. Since melee is what this build is about, the melee based perk Spirit of the Claw and Syntheseb sound nice, but we won't be spamming our melees that much to be able to hold that many charges, and we're not going to be in the middle of a bunch of enemies to take advantage of surrounded. So, to me, the best option here is using Spirit of the Star Eaters because it's going to grant you that increased super damage which rounds off this build really nicely to have all the components and categories we talked about earlier. So the decision here is simple. If you don't have to do DPS, use Necrotic Grips, get that poison damage up. If you do need to do DPS, use Solipsism and have the Spirit of Star Eaters on as well. Next we need to pick a Weapon of Sorrow because of all the auto rifle perks we have this act, you definitely should be picking Necrochasm. But let's talk about what it does so you know why this build is so powerful. On precision kills, you get an explosion that poisons nearby enemies, increases rate of fire, your stability, reload speed, and also refills the magazine. Yeah, it makes the gun pretty good. If you have the catalyst, this also increases the weapon damage when you hit multiple targets. The gun by itself is already insane, using it with this build just enhances it that much more. And with this season's artifact mods, where we have sustained fire that gives you damage resistance, and we also have targeting auto loader, so even if you don't hit a precision kill, you still get the auto rifle reloaded so you can keep firing. It's just insane right now. When those artifact mods are gone, you can choose to use other weapons of sorrow, but use Thorn or Osteo Strieger not Touch of Malice. Even if you have the catalyst done, that's just not as fun as the first two options. Moving on to the core of this build, let's talk about the top three poison builds that we had previously that were trying to merge into this one prismatic build. Before prismatic existed, Poison Solar, Poison Void, and Poison Strand were some of the best ways you could use the poison that's available in the game. Solar is good because you could spam your melee by using hit rises, so you could basically use hit rises, stay in the air, and do infinite melees. For Strand, this was good because the unraveling rounds and suspend combo with Woven Mail allowed us to survive easily while controlling the enemies and spreading all that poison. The Void is also pretty good because you get Devour, so every Every kill you get while poison is spreading all over the place, you heal to max health while gaining a bunch of grenade energy at the same time. So here's what we're going to do to get as many of those components into this prismatic build as possible. For heat rises, we're going to replace that with transcendence because like you know on prismatic, 
when you are transcendent you get your abilities back insanely quickly we keep unraveling rounds from the rk needles melee on prismatic and the sustained fire artifact mod we talked about before grants resist similar to what we get from woven mail we can't replace the suspend because there's just no way to suspend on the prismatic subclass but we've got as much as we could from that and for devour we still have the feed the void aspect from the void subclass so basically this build has some of the best components from all those other really good builds so let's talk about how we're gonna get our transcendence quickly especially since our main weapon is isn't light it isn't dark it's actually kinetic we're going to be using the fragment facet of grace since it grants us bonus transcendence energy on kinetic weapon feats we're also going to be using facet of sacrifice to boost our darkness transcendence energy we already know we're going to be getting light energy kills because we have a void grenade and since we have devour that's going to charge up really quickly but for our darkness energy facet of sacrifice gives bonus darkness energy for final blows while we have devour or radiant active like i just said we're going to have devour active a lot of the time because of our grenade so this is going to help charge our darkness transcendence energy really quickly so for specific details on things like mods and stat distribution, we basically just have things to help get our melee back quicker. Now I know I mentioned before that we're not going to get our melee back often on this build, but this helps a little bit, especially since we don't really need help for anything else. I'm also going to have a dim link in the description as well, but you can pause the video if you want to look through some of those mods right now. Everything we've discussed in this video so far is about the build that you've been seeing on the screen this whole time. So if you enjoyed the video and you think it's a build you'd like to try out, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Stay good and don't be. Stuck up a ball.